Hello everyone. Welcome to my class. Today in this lecture we are going to see about the point to point protocols. So we all know that this point to point protocol which is going to be used in the data link layer. Earlier we have discussed about the HDLC protocols in data. If you don't watch that video please uh, link has been given in that description. You just watch that video and then watch this point to point protocol. This point-to-point -point protocol is the most common protocols which has been used in the data link layer. And as of now, whatever we are using it in an internet, which uses the point-to-point -point protocol. So the earlier class we have discussed about the HDLC protocol. In that HDLC protocol, which has created a basics for all the current days, whatever the protocols we are right now we are using it as like a point to point and wired ethernet and wireless ethernet all that protocol which is the basics of that hdlc protocol so this point to point protocol is most common protocol which has been used in an internet today and which is going to connect all the computers to the servers of an internet service provider using a point to point protocol so for example if you are going to use your uh, uh, home modem or whatever it is home network your internet service provider who has been your device is going to be connected to the internet service provider via the point to point protocol only so to all the computers as well as the servers which are all going to be connected to isps using that point to point protocol so to control and manage the transfer of data, and there is a need for point-to-point -point protocol in that data link layer particularly. So this PPP uses both in character oriented as well as the byte oriented in character oriented frames. So because we all know that this character oriented by default it has to be represented by the bytes so this is going to be used as a uh, byte oriented protocol sometimes we can call it as an character oriented protocols this is a frame format for ppp so which is more or less similar to that uh, hdlc protocol frame format which has to be starts by the flag as well as ends by the flag to synchronization as well as to identification of this uh, frame format and then the address fields is an one byte and then control field is going to be an one byte and the, what the protocol it is going to be at is also half a byte of information and then the payload which is going to be in a variable in size it's not a fixed uh, payload size and then uh, frame check sequence is uh, either it may be a two or four bytes and at last which is going to have an uh, one byte so this is more or less which is going to creating a connection creating a link and then authenticating as well as the data transfer so the below uh, flowchart you could understand that so initially how this point to point protocol which is going to operate you just imagine with your home modem how it is connecting it the same way which is going to be connected here by understanding this flowchart so initially it is going to be in a dead in state uh, once it is a starter then the carrier is going to be detected the signal either it may be a wired or wireless whatever it is a radio waves what the frequency that is going to be carrier is going to be detected then immediately it start establishing the connections and if that carrier is uh, failed due to the weaker signal or some other reasons technical reasons then immediately again it will go back to that dead state and then once the carrier is detected and then establishing the connections then immediately whatever that agreed uh, by the both the both the both the parties as like uh, you may be getting some connections i may be got my connection by 1 gbps of speed you may be got my your connection by 10 gbps of 10 gigabytes of speeds so whatever it is agreed then immediately uh, your service provider and you then immediately the connection which is going to be established then sometimes we may be providing our authentication so i may be giving some authentication then the authentication process which is initiated 
by means of there are there are ways different ways and means you can give an authentication that also we will be seeing it in this class so uh, authentication is if it is going to fail then immediately it is going to move on to an terminate and again it will go back to an edit state suppose the authentication is more successful then the network is just going to be established it means that your devices are all going to be connected to that particular network the once the network has been established then the network layer configuration which is going to be happen it means that the dynamic ip addresses are going to be configured then immediately which is going to be given to each and every devices which are all connected via your network then once the uh, network layer configuration get over then the data transfer process will start once the uh, data transfer process uh, finished then again you can uh, terminate this is how the point to point protocol it is going to work in that apart from that there are some multiplexing it is going to use there are so many protocols for authenticating and then uh, for uh, uh, controlling your networks and other purposes that we will see in detail it uses another set of protocols it is not only only ppp and another set of protocols which has established the link and then authenticating the parties who are all going to be involved and then the carry the network layer data what about the data exchanges so uh, three sets of protocols are going to be defined in that uh, point to point protocols so wherein uh, uh, link control protocol lcp and two authentication protocols uh, ap and then uh, there are so many uh, several uh, network control protocols ncp protocols are going to be used next we will see that where these protocols are going to be placed in uh, placed in that data link layer and then multiplexing in a point to point if you see in this that from the network layer the data comes from the different networking protocols which is comes to an a data link layer we know that the data link layer format is the flag and then address and then control and protocol so what about the other protocols which is going to be used by the uh, ppp so all these things are going to be uh, included in that your payload field for example uh, link control protocol authentication protocol network control protocol all these protocols data are going to be loaded into your regular uh, payload information only so um, uh, internet protocol control protocol ipcp and then uh, challenge uh, handshake authentication protocol and password authentication protocol and then uh, uh, link control protocol all all these protocols are going to be loaded into your payload field now let us see the how it, it has to be encapsulated into your frames so lcp packet link control protocol packet is encapsulated in the frame so which is going to have the codes and then ids what is that id and then uh, how much it is going to be a length and then what the variable that the information which is going to be given that has to be included in that uh, payload field in that along with our point to point protocol format so this codes are going to be uh, packet types and description if you see that configure request from the packet type itself we can easily understood that uh configuration request configuration acknowledgement negative acknowledgement if the authentication is going to be fail and rejecting and then uh, terminate the request once you close that connection terminating acknowledgement code request protocol reject and echo reject echo reply and discard request these are all the different lcp packets which is going to be used here and the common options are going to be and the minimum uh, payload size is going to be 1500 bits and then authentication protocol is none here and protocol field uh, compression is no and address and uh, control field is no and uh, uh, password authentication protocol normally if you are going to give a password authenticating it so first the authentication request it has to go and then uh, authentication acknowledgement which will which will given by the, your uh, system then you can able to use it so here uh, these are all the packets if you see that the first authentication request which is mentioning that the code and then id and then what is that length and after that that information which is going to have what is the username and uh, what is the password length it has to be and what is the format of the password and then the password which is going to be in a variable in size which is going to be loaded once it goes 
then the authentication acknowledgement there are two ways once you given request there is a there are two possible options either uh, positive acknowledgement authenticating the acknowledgement and uh, not acknowledging the things so that just it will give an uh, just any information so these information the uh, password authentication protocol information which has to be encapsulated into that uh, ppp frames Next is a challenge handshake authentication protocol. This is one step ahead of password authentication protocol. Here you can see that first uh, the system which is going to be challenged whether you are a right user or not. Then the, the, the user has to give a response and then uh, the system will give an either a success or a failure. Nobody so you can see that in internet world, cyber world there are a lot of uh, challenge handshake authentication protocols which has to be implemented. So this is if you can see that first which is going to be challenged comes from your uh, system, your server, uh, which is mentioning the same, the code and then ID, what is the length, what is the challenge length, challenge values. He, it may ask some questions also about uh, while you are registering yourself into that uh, service provider. Then uh, the user has to give a response, the stating that what is the code, ID length and as well as the response length. And then uh, there are two message possible messages either uh, your your uh, your challenge your response is uh, success or it may be failure that is only a message maybe your credentials are not uh, correct or your uh, uh, payment is not uh, done likewise it may come only a messages this information chap packets also has to be encapsulated into that uh, uh, ppp frame in that uh, payload field and then uh, password control protocol uh, this is also which is going to have it in that uh, internet protocol control protocol ipcp so ipcp packet code id length and then original information all this is going to be encapsulated in the payload field so that ipcp packets are the same like uh, your uh, regular uh, challenger codes the configuration request is for 0, 1, configuration acknowledgement 2 and 3 is for negative acknowledgement and rejection can be given and the terminate the request, terminate the acknowledgement and code itself can be re rejected. These are all the possible 1 to 7 different kinds of packets which is to be used in the point to point protocol. And then IP datagrams are encapsulated into a point to point protocol frames. It means that we know that the IP datagrams which comes from the uh, data link layer so which may have the IP headers as well as the IP datagram user data so as usual the data link network layer original information which contains that uh, IP headers as well as uh, their user data this has to comes into that uh, uh, point to point protocol that is also going to be encapsulated inside our point to point protocol uh, frames so all such information you can see that which is going to be incorporated, which is going to be uh, uh, encapsulated inside our point to point protocols of frame format. But in general, this is the protocol which is going to be common to be used in our uh, internet uh, right now. So and then we will be going into uh, uh, different kinds of uh, Ethernet protocols uh, as well as a wired Ethernet as well as a wireless Ethernet. And this is for a multi-link uh, point to point which may have uh, multiple different payloads which has to be channeled separately. So the channel one channel two kind of uh, different channels which has to be created. So I hope you understand this point to point protocol. Let me recap that whatever we have covered in this so first we have discussed about the general common protocols in that uh, data communication and the data uh, com data link layer so in general hdlc protocol which creates the basics for all other protocols so this hdlc protocol is a bit oriented protocols whereas the point to point protocol is an uh, byte oriented protocol or the character oriented protocols because here there are a lot of uh, authentication and challenging and many other process which is going to be happen and uh, in this we first discussed about the point to point protocol the frame format this frame format as if similar to other our um, hdlc frame format uh, in this uh, it starts with a flag as well as ends with a flag to identification a start and end of that frame format in between there is a frame check sequences and then a control field is going to be there and that regular payload in this payload only there are uh, apart from a regular point to point protocol which is going to use the three different kinds of protocols 
that is a uh, link control protocols and uh, network control protocols so there are several network control protocols and the two authentication protocols are going to be used along with our ppp so here uh, the general process is going to be uh, to first uh, carrier detection and then authentication and the network creation and then data transfer and then termination so all these uh, protocols like uh, chap protocol ipcp protocol pap protocol these protocols are going to be supported to our ppp protocol by giving an authentication and challenging and authenticating the users so at last finally we can we discussed about uh, uh, ip datagrams how the ip datagrams from the network layer also that is going to be encapsulated in the uh, ppp frame format i hope you understand this uh, concept of point to point protocol in the data link layer uh, if you have any doubts you please mention in the uh, comment line i am happy to respond to your questions hope you understand the concepts Thank you for watching my class. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.